Before you buy another tweaking panel, watch this video. I tested every major panel and this tier list will save you both money and time. Without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. First up, we have Adam X. Adam X is great. It's a good mix of tweaks, decent performance. Feels like someone actually put effort into it. And it's not S tier only because the high end boost isn't there. But it's definitely one of the better ones for sure. Next up, we have EXM tweaks. Now, EXM tweaks actually lands an S tier for me. It is really good, solid performance boost, clean interface, and real tweaks. But it doesn't push the limits like some other panels do, but still, quality product worth using. Next up, we have Hone. Hone is good. It's not crazy, but good. It has reliable boosts, nice support, and nothing shady. It doesn't blow you away, but it does its job well enough to earn a spot in S tier. Next up, we have Core V tweaks. It works, but the results are forgettable. Like you're not getting anything unique or impressive. So it lands in D tier for me. Let's get into the other one. I don't know how to pronounce this, okay? Probably Maho or Maho. I'm sorry, I'm probably ruining the name, but Maho is literally skidded from Risen. Not even trying to hide it. So zero respect for the user and hard F tier. Next up, we have Nexus. And Nexus actually goes into X tier because I haven't tested it yet and every other panel I've used, tried, or at least seen the backend of. Nexus stays unranked till I actually try it, so stay tuned for that. Next up, we have One Click. One Click is actually, like honestly, a nice free option. It's simple, it's lightweight, and you won't get S tier results, but for something free, it lands in B tier, and it's actually really good for a free option. And next up, we have Paragon or Paragon. I don't know how to say it, so please forgive me. Paragon is a paid service, not a panel. The work itself is okay, but the price is way higher than the results you get. You don't walk away with anything special, and most of the changes are basic system edits. It's not bad, it's just not worth what they charge. So for me, it's gonna have to be in C tier. And next up, we have Rex Tweaks. Rex is a random, like, I've never heard of him, but I found their tweaks and I tried it. No structure and no quality control, it's just a chaotic mess pretending to be a tweaking panel it's just buns like you know so i'm putting it in f tier and next up we have rip tweaks rip tweaks is skidded like it's stolen code there's nothing original about this tweaking panel there's been no effort so it's gonna be bottom of the list f tier next up we have risen tweaks risen goes straight into s tier and it's not even close Risen Tweaks has the best boosts, it has real experimental tweaks, high ratings, and actual results. There's no bias here. It's simply the strongest panel on the market, and it has a clean UI, legit support. Next up, we have Ronin Tweaks. Now, Ronin is actually in the mid section for me. It's not terrible, but it's not amazing. Some tweaks help, like it might help your PC, it might not. It's okay enough to land on C tier, but nothing more. Next up, we have Styx Tweaks. Now sticks, sticks is just get a trash. Like if you buy this, you're basically throwing money at someone who copy pasted all of the panel. Like basically you're just throwing your money away. Don't buy this. It's skidded. Next up, <laughs> we have tickle tweaks. Tickle is just a money grab. I've already made a video about this explaining what money grabs are and how to avoid them. But basically zero innovation. Feels like somebody just repackaged some free tweaks and slapped the price on it. So just don't buy this. Stay away from it. Next up, we have Tox Tweaks, and it's actually decent. Like, it offers some real improvements, and it's not too expensive either. It's good enough to sit comfortably in a B tier. And I'm gonna actually put Tox above one click. Like, for me, it is better, but one click is a free option, so keep that in mind. Next up, we have Tracer. Tracer is actually, like, it's in the middle for me as well. Like, it's not that great, it's not that trash. It's a tweaking panel that doesn't stand out, okay? It's just another panel that you have. You can use it or not use it. That's straight up it. Next up, we have Vitoral. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure, but here it is. Now, Vitoral is just a solid, decent panel. It gets the job done. It has a clean layout. So I'm going to put it below Adam X, but it's really great. Okay, next up, we have Zilly Tweaks. Zilly is also a service. The tweaks are safe. They won't break your PC, but the gains are small. For the price, you expect more than mild improvements, but it's usable. It's just overpriced for what it delivers. Next up, we have, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Zineral, something like that. It's going to be on the screen. You guys can read it. And it's an average tweaking panel. Like, it's basic tweaks, basic performance, and it's outdated. And it barely earns a D instead of F, because at least it works. Like, unlike the rest of them, this works. That's why it's in D tier. And last but not least, 
we have Zen tweaks. If you guys learned anything from my last video, you know why I'm putting this in F tier. Same as Tickle, it's a horrible money grab. Like it's overhyped nonsense with weak tweaks and overpriced everything. Hard pass on that. Please don't buy them. Now, if you're actually going to buy any tweaks, buy from the top five up here. They're actually really great. And if you want the best panel out there, Risen Tweaks is still the number one. No bias, just it's just facts. Like you got to accept it. And if you do go ahead and decide to buy it, use code YT15 for a big discount. And if you disagree with any rankings, let me know down in the comments. Be safe, be subtle, do your research. And that's it for today's video.